I believe they really should prepare for an indefinite state of talent shortage, specifically in accounting and finance. And there's quite a number of reasons for that. Hello, my name is Sean Ziemba. I am the area vice president for the specialized accounting and finance division, where we specialize our focus in operational accounting in um, multiple markets uh, in the United States. However, I lead our teams in our Southeast region, which includes the entire state of Florida, our Atlanta, Georgia team, as well as our teams in Raleigh and Charlotte, North Carolina. We have seen a dramatic increase in salaries, specifically in the accounting and finance space prior to 2023, a steep increase in salaries. In 2023, we saw those salaries start to even off a little bit, as well as in 2024, we predict just a slight uh, increase, specifically in the state of Florida, where the day-to-day -day cost of living has increased about 35%. We saw that steep increase here. Uh, and this year, we're looking at most likely about a 4.4% increase in salaries over 2023, which is a lot lower than, again, what we saw in 2022. What I attribute to those uh, salary trends, uh, other than the steep cost of living increase, uh, is just the challenge uh, to find talent in accounting and finance. It's very difficult uh, to uncover talent. You have to be market competitive with the salaries. And uh, we foresee the uh, challenge to uncover talent to continue indefinitely. Well, more than anything, uh, for employers, they want to ensure that they stay market competitive in terms of attracting the top talent in the market when it comes to salaries. If they are not competing um, in the same pool of the salary range, then they will not get the candidates. However, candidates we're noticing are leveraging a lot more than salaries. When they entertain offers, uh, market competitiveness is important. However, if a company offers um, very attractive benefits, flexible work schedules, specifically work from home, or hybrid type opportunities and or uh, meaningful work, we are finding that candidates are entertaining more than salary, which is nice. I believe they really should prepare for an indefinite state of talent shortage, specifically in accounting and finance. And there's quite a number of reasons for that. First and foremost, there are less uh, professionals entering the accounting profession. Statistics have shown that there are less and less accounting graduates graduating from colleges and universities over the past you know, 10 to 15 years. We also have the boomers retiring. So entertaining uh, a little bit more of a flexible work uh, force or consulting or contract workforce to attract the boomers that are retiring but are not ready to retire could really help with recruiting strategies for companies and to open up the pool of available accounting talent for themselves. And third, we've seen a sharp decline in immigration, specifically in Florida, uh, where we had experienced, talented, degreed accounting professionals outside of the U.S. coming into the U.S., we haven't seen as many of those candidates, which is making it even more challenging. So for employers, I, I just say to buckle in, uh, be prepared for a talent shortage, open your minds to different op options and opportunities of work situations, have flexibility. For employees, um, I tell them to um, continue to be realistic uh, in terms of their salary expectations, flexible on salary expectations when there are other, uh, you know, uh, options or other aspects to an offer like benefits and flexible work situations.